When people first enter the Vintage Vault Arcade, it's surprise and astonishment. They are just amazed at what they see. You can always try your luck in the arcade and get your name on the high scoreboard. It went from 2 to 20 to 44. My name is Jeremy Wagner and I built an arcade in my basement. This may look like a standard family home, but wait till you see what's in the basement. I have 44 arcade machines. This is my home. Three pinball tables, a pool table, bumper pool, soda machine, candy crane, air hockey table. The size of the Vintage Vault Arcade is 25 by 44 feet, which makes for 1,100 square feet. People will actually tell me, well, that's the size of my entire flat. <laughs> Are some people jealous of my collection? Probably, but you know, I'd be jealous too. This is driver's row right here, all the driving games. I was an 80s kid who was born in the 70s. I was introduced to my first arcade machines about 1980-81. The games I first fell in love with were Galaga, Ms. Pac-Man, Qbert, Star Wars. Those were kind of my main four. I think Donkey Kong was in there too. If playing arcade games is not your sort of a thing. We have a sitting area with a couch where all the retro gaming consoles are. Sega Genesis, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, GameCube, Wii, ColecoVision, Atari 2600, Sega Dreamcast, PS2, Xbox One. As I've spent $25, $50, $100, $300, $500 on the games depending on their condition and the most I spent in an arcade machine was $800 and that was Star Wars. I don't have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars because I can buy them broken and cheap and fix them up myself. I graduated from college with an electrical engineering degree, so that was one of the ways I can use my skills and my home life and hobby to fix up these games. And when I'm able to fix these 30 year old arcade games and bring them back to life for the first time in decades, I mean, it's a feeling of accomplishment and joy, and I just can't wait to jump in and play it. Over here, the bar area is the focal point, the centerpiece of the arcade. You can sit down, quench your thirst, have a drink with the boys or the girls. These games are really something that Jeremy is into. I don't know how to play any of them. I couldn't get past level one if I tried. I don't even know how to play Pac-Man. <laughs> I have no idea how to play it. There's not a game in here I could get past a level one on, not one. Star Wars. This is quite literally my favorite game in the arcade. I drove eight hours to pick this one up. You do not need quarters to play them. Uh, most of them are set on some form of free play that was either programmed into the game or I put an add-on enhancement kit that allowed free play. The things that stick out for me that people have said about this collection is, gosh, that must have cost a lot of money and how much is your electric bill? Well, on a game day, it's about $8 for the entire day. So to build the basement arcade, it took about three months and I began the project as soon as I moved into the house. My brother and myself constructed most of the basement arcade because we use family labor, the renovation cost about $6,000 total. As we're building the basement, I don't think once I was like, what is going on here? I think it just seemed very like a natural thing he was doing. When my wife and I were house hunting for the bigger house, uh, she was willing to let me have my arcade space as long as there was enough bedrooms in the house for a growing family. So I was on a hunt for a six bedroom house and this is a six bedroom house. I don't think anyone thinks it's crazy or eccentric. I just think they think, hey, I'm in this really awesome basement and I get to hang out here, so I want to be friends with those guys. <laughs> so they're okay for my kids. They really do enjoy playing the games down here. However, they kind of grown up with an arcade in their home. So, so more the enjoyment for them is when their friends come over and they get to play these games with them and that's where the real excitement begins. Whoa. Yeah, there we go. You can always try your luck in the arcade and Get your name on the high scoreboard. People like to vie to get those high scores and when they, they conquer one, they, they come right to me and I'll change out, out that score right away, put their name on the board. That could be down here for days on end. Gaming always meant so much to me as a kid. And now that I have my own arcade, I feel like the luckiest guy in the world. I mean, this was my playground and this is my playground.